Hey, what's up guys? It's Alex. Glad you could join me for today's video. Today we have episode number 29 of 10 things you didn't know about. We will be going over 10 fun facts you might have not known about Scania trucks. Now, let's get started. Number 1 as some of you may know, in 1969, Scania introduced a 350 horsepower, 14 liter V8 turbocharged engine. At the time, it was the most powerful truck motor in Europe and pioneered Scania's low rev philosophy with a high torque output at low engine speeds. What most might not know is the person to thank for the development of the engine that became one of Scania's biggest successes. That man, who is often called the father of the Scania V8, is Bent. Gadfelt, this legendary head of design of Scania diesel engines from the 1960s to the 1980s, anticipated the need for truck engines that would meet the growing demand for more power, especially for timber haulage and heavy long haulage. The concept that Gadfelt and his team came up with involved a powerful yet very compact power unit, a 90 degree V8 featuring a 14.2 liter sweat volume engine. This powertrain concept had all the characteristics that Scania's engineers were looking for as it had good tractive power at low engine speeds, few gear changes, and sufficient extra power throughout the entire engine speed range. Number 2 Earlier in December of 2020, Scania presented a swinging door for the L-Series. Due to Scania's low entry cabs, the L-Series proving success among customers operating in congested urban environments. The introduction of the swinging door, or what Scania introduced it as, the city door, is an optional fast opening inward swinging glass door, which means that these smart cabs become even more advantageous in operations where staff, often leave and enter the cab during their workday. Adding the inward swinging Scania city door option brings extra convenience to drivers and other crew members who have to board their truck often. Refuse collection vehicles are maybe the best known example. Number three, Scania Vabus developed their first diesel engine in 1936. This impressed the trade press during test drives that some journalists said they could hardly hear the engine, but certainly felt its effect as the bus shot forward like an arrow. Scania Vabus introduced this engine as part of a new family of engines, which uniquely Uniquely is available in three different versions, carburetor, Hesselman, and pre-combustion chamber diesel. The unit was designed for relatively simple conversion between the versions to take three different forms of fuel. Number 4. You probably have seen thousands of cars and motorbikes doing wheelies, but have you ever seen a truck do one? Well look no further. In this video we see a Scania truck wheelie with its trailer attached. The truck demonstrates a real raw power based on a diesel engine. You can see how the driver's cabin starts going up making it look like a piece of cake. Although the power the engine delivers plays a significant role in doing this, we have to take into consideration that this truck is going uphill as well, making it a bit easier. Nevertheless, it's an impressive feat and incredible diesel power. Number 5. In 2003, Scania's Young European Truck Driver competition made its debut. The competition started as a response to a 2003 European Commission directive on driver training, which aimed to minimize the environmental impact of truck driving by increasing road safety awareness and improving fuel consumption. Scania considers the driver as the single most important asset for economy, environment, and safety. Drivers are the most important factor in overcoming the number of challenges the transport industry's environmental footprint. Another goal for Scania driver competitions is to draw more people into a profession that has become all the more demanding and versatile. The winners of Scania driver competitions need a lot more than just driving a truck or a bus from point A to point B. To reflect this, the competitions have developed over the years to feature a number of health and emergency related challenges. Number 6 In September of 2020, Scania announced they would be updating its V8 engine range with the launch of four new models which the company said are suitable for heavy haulage, forestry, and other on and off highway applications. It would be available in variants of 530, 590, 660, and a record 770 horsepower. The company said the new engines deliver significant fuel savings of up to 6% when combined with Scania's new OptiCruise gearbox range. The 770 horsepower is available now, and the 530, 590, and the 660 horsepower variant units will come in February of 2021. Number 7. Early in 2020, Scania introduced two new side detection systems designed to improve safety. Working in harmony, the blind spot warning system and passenger side vulnerable road user collision warning 
help avoid or mitigate scenarios where trucks may come into contact with other road users. Senior Vice President and Head of Scania Trucks said that the enhanced side detection is yet another component in Scania's aim to increase the safety of vulnerable road users. ADAS support truck drivers by constantly monitoring blind spots beside the vehicle. The blind spot warning system is mainly designed to warn truck drivers of hidden cars when at higher speeds switching lanes. It can also warn for bikes and pedestrians. Number 8. In 2015, Scania launched its fully electric truck with 250 kilometer range. The Scania electric truck can operate during the whole day and still return safely to its Home Depot for overnight charging. With the combustion engine removed, space for batteries has been freed. Additional batteries are mounted on the chassis frame. The new electric motor delivers a continuous power of 230 kilowatts or approximately 310 horsepower. One of the major benefits with an electric motor compared with the combustion engine is its high controllability. In practice, the driver will experience this through faster acceleration and response from the powertrain. This was the start of Scania's long-term electrification commitment. Their plan is to annually launch electric vehicles for the entire product range and hopefully introduce long-distance electric trucks adapted for fast charging during driver's 45-minute rest period. Number 9. Because there were many inexpensive imported cars in Sweden at the time, Scania Fabus decided to build high-class luxury cars. For instance, the Type 3 limousine from 1920 that had a top hat holder in the roof. Prince Carl of Sweden owned a 1913 Scania Vabus 3S, a type which was fitted within car buttons so the passenger could communicate with the driver. Scania Vabus also built two-seat sports cars. Number 10. Although Scania commercial vehicles and poor sports cars may have little in common at first glance, the commercial vehicle manufacturer Scania and Porsche Engineering have been working together on truck development issues for many years. The two companies have been collaborating on the development of a new truck cabin generation since 2010. In the project, the engineers of Porsche Engineering have applied their experience and expertise in the fields of lightweight construction and reduced fuel consumption, from automobile development to the commercial vehicle industry. The focus of the collaboration, aside from maintaining typical Scania styling and the impressive functionality of the development, is primarily the optimal design of the development and production processes. The development from Porsche Engineering can therefore be seamlessly integrated into Scania series production. So thanks guys for watching, hopefully you guys learned something new. Before you leave, be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. What do you think of Scania trucks? Be sure to get all your chrome needs at jazzchromeshop.com. Tune into our live podcast, The Chrome Corner, Wednesdays at noon to discuss all things chrome with our host, Dave Coleman. Thanks again guys for watching, I'll see you next time, and remember, if your rig don't shine, you don't know jack.